No, I can't. The keys are frozen. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what happens when you stand around out here. The Lesbian Gay Bands of America uh, performed for both of Clinton's inaugurals. Former inaugurals, we were only a concert band. So what's significant about this inauguration? We're marching. That's, that's what it's all about. It's about being seen, uh, being televised, being part of history, being uh, a feeling of empowerment. I am probably the one person in the world I'm bragging myself. I tossed the baton stories high, very high and known for catching it. And we won't be doing that tomorrow because we were told that if we do that, that might pose a threat and so we don't want to get tackled. Unfortunately, the Secret Service said that if we do anything that's a threat to the president, the Secret Service will take us down and we will not be able to finish out the parade. And we have to keep everything in a box and everything has to be moving forward. There are approximately 200 people uh, that are performing today and will be performing tomorrow. Uh, from 24 bands across the country. I've been a baton twirler since I've been age four when I saw my mother's brooms apart. Here I am 25 years later when I thought I would quit at the age of 29 and here I am still twirling with the uh, LGBA. The symbolic marching with the president I think m makes it something that where people feel like we're really we're really included this time. We're really a part of it. People are really recognizing we are a part of this country. It's something that shows America that we're just like everybody else. Sexual orientation is just a part of our life. There's no reason for us to be second-class citizens, and there's no reason for us to be hiding in the the shadows. We need to be upfront and right out there.